Hello students, welcome to Learners Planet. Uh, in this session, we will basically discuss about the response given to stimulus in plants or by the plants. Right. Uh, the particular feature that is the response or the action taken by an organism to give response to particular stimulus is a peculiar feature of the living organisms if we are able to give uh, give a, a response to a particular uh, stimulus then definitely we are considered as the living organisms so even plants they are the living organisms and that is proved uh, by this particular thing that uh, since they are able to give response to the stimulus or the changes in the surrounding therefore they are known as the living organisms now the point is if it is animal then uh, you know very well that how they are giving response to a particular changes in their surrounding isn't it like they can uh, show the mo uh, molecular i'm sorry the muscular movement they can run here and there they can give different they can show different types of responses isn't it but in the case of plants since they are stationary the system is quite simple over there there is no muscular system in them isn't it so they are simply responding to particular stimulus in the form of movement but how this movement is taking place because in the case of animals there is the muscle isn't it and that the mus uh, movement is actually controlled by the muscles over there so if muscles are not present here in the plants then how the movement is taking place so this movement in the plant is actually related to the uh, growth over there so let us see that uh, uh, what type of different movements are there which are uh, uh, which are shown by the plants in response to the different stimulus so in plants the movement is of different types and what is that it is directional and non directional so in this case the name itself is suggesting that what it actually means directional it means uh, it is having a particular direction but now if we are considering the movement with respect to the stimulus it is a, a response which is shown by the plants for any change isn't it so definitely the direction it uh, uh, it should be either towards the stimulus or it should be away from that it should be against it isn't it so uh, these movement they can be directional that means on the basis of a particular type of stimulus it can uh, it can move either towards the uh, stimulus or it can move away from the stimulus and such type of directional plant movements they are known as the tropic movements or the phenomena is known as the tropism right they uh, then the next one as i said that it is uh, non directional then these non directional it is uh, not having a particular direction that means it is independent of the uh, direction from where the stimulus is actually uh, exposed right uh, so in this case the movement is definitely taking place but it is uh, it is uh, uh, not with respect to the direction of the stimulus and such type of plant movements which are uh, taking place in the non directional matter, man, uh, manner they are known as a nestic movement and the process of the phenomena is known as the nestism right now uh, if we compare uh, tropism so this uh, tropism besides directional it is growth dependent that means in this case the movement is taking place due to the growth growth means what it means the increase in the uh, mass of the cell number of the cells or the size of the cell is it it so in this case the movement is actually observed because of the increase in the overall size or the uh, length or the height of the plant so such type of movements are always growth dependent now of course the growth dependent uh, uh, thing is there or the dependency on growth is there that means cell division is also taking place isn't it until unless the cell division do not occur there is no increase in size that is a clear fact isn't it so these are <coughs> basically uh, they are taking place because of the uh, cell division and cell division is 100% controlled by the hormones is this isn't a, uh, it a practical fact because growth of course or the cell division it occurs uh, or it is controlled or regulated by the hormones so in such type of movements hormones are uh, playing a very important role for them right now let us come back to this particular point that these movements are directional 
here we are saying they are directional then we are saying they are growth dependent that means the growth of the uh, of this uh, plant or the part of the plant is taking place in a particular direction and that direction is either towards the uh, direction of stimulus or it is away from the direction of the stimulus if the growth occurs towards the uh, this uh, uh, stimulus the direction of the stimulus then it is known as the positive tropic movement further if the growth it occurs uh, uh, to away from the direction of the stimulus then definitely it is known as the negative uh, tropic movement right or the negative tropism so this is the basic thing now the point is uh, you can uh, practically think of the example definitely we will discuss them uh, in detail further in some other session but in this case uh, for one example for just uh, your instance i can quote one example like uh, uh, the growth of the plant uh, when it is exposed to the light you know what happens when the plants are exposed to light if you are keeping these plants in the dark room what happens of course the uh, the stem it uh, tends to bend towards the direction of the light the direction from where the light is coming isn't it and that is what you must have observed in your daily life also so if this bending of a plant is taking place towards the light al along with the increase in the size of the stem what does it suggest so it must suggest that uh, this type of movement or this bending of a uh, uh, plant towards the light towards the direction from where light is coming is actually the it is an example of positive phototropism photo why i'm calling it as a photo because photo is related to light and phototropism that means the response which is given to the uh, stimulus that is light and why positive because the bending or this uh, growth is taking place towards the direction from where the light is coming so this is how we can uh, just say if this is one of the way in which the plant movement occurs on the other hand the another one is the nestic movement which i said is non directional it is independent of the direction from where the stimulus is coming so uh, in this case uh, this type of uh, movement it may be growth dependent it may be growth dependent or it may be independent simply i have written the word here that is growth independent right now independent means what growth may occur and growth may not occur both things are there both possibilities are there isn't it so both type of things are there but definitely it is never so that it is dependent on the direction of the stimulus or it is dependent completely on the growth right so example is like uh, uh, for uh, this uh, uh, mimosa pudica plant that is the touch me not plant right in general we call it as a touch me not what happens in that when we touch it or you just try it if it is present in your surrounding or somewhere you find it out if you touch that plant at a particular tip uh, from any direction from wherever you are going to touch it the, uh, the response is of course the drooping of light, uh, leaves and the drooping is of course towards the inner side isn't it and these are basically controlled by the specific cells which are present at the uh, pulvinic rich region in these plants right uh, these are the extensors and the flexors and they help in the movement of leaves towards the inner side or to the outer side so they may extend back when the uh, when the stimulus has been removed so it is of course like uh, it can it can be reverted back right it is not only that uh, uh, if the uh, if this growth has occurred suppose so uh, it cannot be reverted back to the back side like if the increase in the uh, height of the plant has occurred definitely there is no way in which we can decrease the uh, this height of the plant by st exposing it to different stimulus but in the case of these nestic movement it can happen when the uh, stimulus is there response will be given by the plant and when the stimulus is removed back the plants will take the normal shape and the example is of course the one we are discussing that is the mimosa pudica once we touch it the leaves will droop down and when the when we uh, remove our finger away then uh, again within no time these uh, will regain their normal shape uh, the uh, another example is like uh, uh, moonflower or the sunflower what uh, what is that it is a response given to the uh, to the light isn't it so they are uh, opening in the sunlight especially especially this uh, um, sunflower it is opening 
for the when the sunlight is there isn't it and the direction or the uh, this flower is facing towards the direction from where the sunlight is coming so this is one of the example of the nastic movement again right so this is how the plants are giving response to the stimulus in the form of movement and further we will discuss some another topic and uh, we'll come back in the next session till then goodbye have a nice day